see how it all comes together. Oh, how about Thurman, that? a little more Rocky IV, Pacquiao, a little more technology. I know, see, so you love when I explain you, all Jenna. that to you. That's Time for intriguing. us to go viral. Tom Brady, known for his accuracy and his football IQ. What he's not known for is his speed. Madden gave him the lowest speed for all quarterbacks. Well, Brady was not happy with this and made this video in response. Brady run a 40 in right now. He ran one. He timed it this summer. He ran oh. better than his combine time. Oh, fat. he ran a 5-2. I was gonna say five. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I missed that. I Absolutely. appreciate that. Absolutely. 5-2. What would? Here we go. What would you run a 40 in, Jenna Wolf? I can beat 5-2. 5-2? A 5-2-40? I can beat a 5-2-40. I think you think I can beat a 5-2-40. I've heard people say they think what they're thinking is what they're thinking, but they're really not thinking mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's yards, not feet. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's brilliant. Uh, yeah, I think I, yeah, I think so. You could run a 5 He's two a Hall right of Fame athlete. But sometimes his hamstring goes out. Is dry. It's dry. You're so Okay, dry. what about this guy? I, I'm I moved out of my apartment time. yesterday, yeah. and they moved all my trophies. They got a lot of them. A lot of trophies. Okay, and I'm not trying to pop a hamstring trying to... No. What did you Chris run? Chris almost tore his Achilles getting on the elevator the other day. Five Man, I saw that. I wish there was video of I'm that. I'm writing this down. Mm -hmm. We're going to train. Five, five two, two forty. Jenna, you, you just move five foot two inches. That is not how it works. It's <laughs> You know. Time for stories to start your morning. <laughs> you can't even write a 5240. <laughs> then you run one. I love you. What did y'all do to so get here? Much. What? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I tricked I, some I, people. I, oh, okay. Let's go. So much. <laughs> Mine was all verbal. A recent report says the Thunder are in no rush to trade newly acquired Chris Paul. Shockingly, suitors are not looking for a 34 year old point guard who still has three years and $124 million left on his deal. Nick, how much does CP3 have left in the tank? Listen, Chris Paul can still help a good team, but a good team doesn't have $37 million to pay him. So he's kind of betwixt and between here. When you see what the Thunder are able to get for Chris Paul, or maybe more accurately, what they have to give up to get someone to take Chris Paul, I think you might look at the Chris Paul, Russell Westbrook trade a little bit differently, but he's going to start the year in Oklahoma City. I'm pretty convinced of that. Yeah, Chris Paul, he's got a bad contract. You, mean, you think that the first year, it's okay if he was in Houston, but now playing with a younger team, is he the guy that you want mentoring all these young players? I mean, he's had an accomplished career, but he has been tough to play with no matter where he's been. Look for Minnesota maybe at some point to get in this game. Moving on, another player on the move could be Andre Iguodala, the former Finals MVP, could soon be traded from the Grizzlies with reports that the Lakers, the Rockets, and the Clippers are leading the charge. See, where do you think Iggy best fits? Well, it, it depends on who gets an injury. Because if someone gets an injury, man, especially a wing player, I mean, he can play with all those teams. He's a great locker room guy. Guys around the league have a lot of respect for him. He's a guy that's going to buy into whatever role that he's playing. That's what he did there in Golden State. Man, any of those teams, would, would man, it would, it would help their roster to add Iggy to him, Nick. I would, listen, I, he almost signed with Houston a few years ago. Remember that. If he gets bought out, I think all three of those teams will immediately try to court him. But as far as a trade goes, the only contending team that I could see actually trading for him is the Denver Nuggets. They have the contracts to make it work. He played in Denver, played really well in Denver. They think they can win the title. But I don't know if anyone's going to give up a draft pick to pay Iggy 17 million bucks. Do millennials know what courting is? Because um, you used that word. Oh, okay. So the, they, the, the Nuggets might try to slide into his DMs. Nope, nope then you went too far. Out. Nope, no. nope, bring it back a little. No, I don't have to bring it back. Mm, he said, I, he said I need to relate to the millennials and their rainbow toast and stuff. I wish I could <laughs> throw some soup on y'all. Oh, the JR. Moving on to JR Smith now. The Cavs waived the former NBA champ, and the Lakers are reportedly, quote, unlikely to reunite JR and LeBron. Nick, you think it's a mistake for the Lakers not to pursue JR Smith? 
I mean, he would help, but if they only, I think Iguodala would help more. I think Corver potentially could help more. I, it, I'd rather have Jr. than Melo if they're saving that last roster spot for Melo. I think jr has got a little bit left in the tank. I think someone will pick him up. We knew the Cavs were going to waive him. They weren't going to pay him $15 million this year. This allows them to duck beneath the luxury tax, but I don't think Jr.'s done. I would like to see Jr. try to make a contribution on the team, but I can't forget last time I saw Jr. on a basketball basketball court and Story jr time. is not the type of person that with unsupervised um, unsupervised. unsupervised time alone that's what he's been doing the last year no practice no organization no travel that's wrong. doing whatever he wanted to do mm. jr will always have those eight points beginning of the second half of game seven <laughs> save the season for the Cavs, one of the greatest championships ever key part of it what year that's 2016 man it's not that long ago. Three years ago. Ending with Ben Simmons, who turns 23 on Saturday. And as an early happy birthday, Sixers gifted the former number one overall pick a five-year, $170 million max contract extension. Surprisingly, only in Simmons that it, oh, uh, surprisingly only in that Simmons game has been under a microscope since entering the league, you know, because he can't really shoot from outside. How Easy many feet, Nick? Second. Outside of 16 feet. I'm going to start the whole segment over. No, no the problem. Sixers, though, are clearly all in. What do you think, Nick? How much of the Sixers' future is dependent on Simmons and how much he develops that shooting game? It's enormously dependent because both of their franchise cornerstones, there are question marks about. I know we pick on Simmons, but Joel Embiid's overall health and overall fitness and dedication to his body is a real question and Simmons ability to grow his game is a real question which one are you more concerned about I am I think that I think Joel Embiid is more likely for it to go terribly I think but he Simmons is more likely to stay stagnant if Simmons never improves then he's a fine player but not worthy of 170 million dollars and not worthy of the stature he was given as the number one overall pick because when he was taken number one overall everyone said look at all the things he can do imagine when he learns to shoot it's now been three years since then and he hasn't added one foot to his range that is an enormous problem the point that i'm making is the reason when people talk about trading ben simmons should philly move off of ben simmons i think one of the reasons they're hesitant to do this and zach lowe talked about this yesterday i thought he made a good point is is joe Embiid's not Giannis. Embiid's not anthony davis Embiid's not a guy that you know with utter certainty you can just say is going to be this level of player for the next decade we know what his potential is so you the reason that they have to hold on hope to both guys is there's unknown factors with both of these guys but obviously philly is paying him on potential they're not paying him based on what he is what he is right now is a very good defensive player who rebounds great for his position who has great size but that is not worth 34 million dollars a year over the next five years wait see who do you think is more likely to, to fill their potential joel Embiid or ben simmons it's not even close joel Embiid. And he's closer to doing that. The reason why I have more confidence in Joel Embiid is because we're wondering, is his conditioning, is, is his eating ever going to be on par with the footwork and the other parts of his game that he went through all the tedious process of doing? Correct. So I've already seen some, he's already done it in his basketball game. The eating part, that's one of the parts that comes later. For younger players, for big guys, it's harder for big guys, especially as far as their cardio, as far as their knees, how much can their joints take with the pounding? But he has shown me that he has been dominant. Tell me one area where Ben is dominant. We're gonna say all, oh, it's his all round game. Now, he's an all star. Joel Embiid is a superstar. And we gotta make sure that we make the distinction between the two of them. Joel and B, of course I have more confidence in. I don't think this is a bad contract. You have to sign Ben to this contract. I'm not gonna continue just to talk about his inability to shoot. Everyone knows he can't shoot. Last year's playoff run, longest shot he took, 11 feet. He's not comfortable shooting the basketball. It, was, it would be as if there was a great running back and someone wanted me to turn him into a wide receiver. And I've been like, okay, 
Can he do it? Tyreek Hill was one to do it. I told Nick I got doubts because most fast guys don't turn from track speed into wide receivers. Ben Simmons, we're trying to see if a non-shooter can become an efficient shooter. We don't even know if he's shooting with the right hand. Yeah. His free throw shooting. And what it does to other players on the team because there's a half a body off of him in the lane if he's got the ball outside of 15 feet because there's no need to guard him because he's no threat. So for me, all right, he's a very good all-round player. He's an all-star. But to me, this franchise should be built, should be built around Joel Embiid. And I wouldn't be surprised if... Brett Brown, ultimately, they get rid of him because I don't believe him and Ben Simmons are best for each other because I don't believe that he's pushing Ben Simmons to be the best player he can be. And I wouldn't be surprised if Ben Simmons got traded. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't make it through this contract and they used him to trade off um, to get another asset. Nick, what comes with this contract? What are the expectations, realistic expectations from the Sixers? Who, I mean, compared to what he shot last year, it can't be Listen, it's hey, be the, that the, the numbers last year are jarring and indefensible. And I have been a guy that has defended Ben Simmons, particularly during his rookie season. Said, so listen, the guy is a rookie, was a fringe all-star. We saw what all the physical tools were. And we, I assume assumed that he would grow his game even a little bit. The problem for Ben is, if you look at tape year one to year two in the league, it's indistinguishable. All the things he was great at, he's still great at. All the things he's bad at, he was still bad at. I can't find one area he got discernibly better. He was shockingly good defensively as a rookie. He was just as good defensively as a second year player. But the weakness is, it. it it seems so like a broken record, but it is. When he took 25 shots outside of 16 feet all year. The whole year. That, that's and so Chris was is harping on this his rookie season, and I kept saying, man, he's a rookie. He's 19 years old. He's already an excellent player. Give him time, and I still think he deserves time, and you still think he deserves time. But it is disappointing that after that in between. Do you remember watching tape of Jadavian Clowney in high school? Yes. And in college? Yes. How much better has he gotten? He's about the same. Is he not the freakiest athlete that we have in the NFL? Certainly on the Ben Simmons and him are exactly the same. You can't expect all players that are just, oh, I'm just going to appropriate. He's just getting ready to get better. Ben Simmons made one three-pointer in college. Has made zero, Jenna, the same as at this table. <laughs> In two seasons, full season in the NBA. Not even a buzzer beater. Not even he even won at half yeah. court but at, at halftime or something like that. He is not a shooter of the basketball. But I'm not mad about the contract. Al Horford had a max contract. There's other players out there that had max contract that are not superstars, but they're all-star. He's an all-star basketball player. If we could keep our expectations on that, I don't think we would be disappointed. But as the number one pick, as athletic as he is, as big as he is, right. he can go off the dribble, a great defender. For him not to develop a jump, a jump shot, it's criminal because that's all he's got to do. Because that you don't have to go to school. He don't have to work on anything else. The reason why we haven't seen any video, Jenna, Jenna, you got more videos up there of him. You know the reason why? Because you're at the gym and you got a reason. You know what? Because people want to show off what they do. The reason why we haven't seen him showing off his shot, because there ain't nothing to show off. And it's the, the, the disappointing part is it's not the gap between him being an all-star and a superstar. It's the gap between him being an all-star and having the potential to be a league MVP, to have potential to be one of maybe the best player in the league one day, because at his size, his skill set, if he had even just a mid range shot he's almost right. indefensible but he won't even shoot the ball but so yeah the, and you have to hope someone's having this conversation with him someone that he trusts and someone that will actually influence I think it's him. tougher to have the conversation he did deserve the contract but it's tougher when he just signed for 170 million yes. all right let's move on Hard to, to make